All right, so we're gonna make a linear actuator controller circuit. And to do that, we're gonna start out by selecting the analog in out serial. You don't really have to worry about all this stuff. So we're gonna go down to prime out right here. And then just go ahead and start adding our loops here. So if sunlight, Okay, now the conditions. So we're gonna, we want the door to close obviously. And then we'll type what this is. All right, and then delay it. We'll give it a this is in milliseconds so that's two millisecond delay which is or two thousand megas millisecond delay so that's obviously two seconds in reality reason why we do only two seconds is so that when we're testing it it's pretty easy to tell all right well, night time will equal zero And daytime will equal, actually nighttime will equal one. Okay, and then close up that if loop. And so this basically means sunlight is less than five, which uh, this will be the sunlight value up here. Not seeing light. All right, there we are. Okay, then we got it in here too. And right here as well. Uh, some of this stuff is just for diagnostics. <laughs> like serial printout, won't even use it, but we'll edit it just, just for fun. And then we'll go ahead and copy this, and then we'll change this to if sunlight is greater than... And we'll use 15. Now, we could use 5, but when you put it too close, when you put those variables too close, 5 and 15, then you're going to get a lot of strange behavior once you get to that point so for this one we want to this is saying that it's daytime now so if daytime is equal to zero that would indicate that it's nighttime so we're going to transition to daytime let's go ahead and uh, put that in there and change this around All right, now that should be good for the if loops. I suppose maybe we can do that there. And then we got some variables that we created, so we want to set them up and initialize them and all that stuff. So we'll... And we have to set these variables as outputs. But first we're just going to declare them as low Actually, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, we declare them as an output. If you don't declare them as an output, they'll have current limiting resistors. So they won't, will only output, you know, a few volts. Not very many. Something you don't really want to deal with. So we got the pin mode. Now we want to write the values as zero so upon power up or reset the val the doors don't try to open or close for that matter well i mean if the if loop wants them to open or close then they will but they won't act funny if not so we got the door open door closed now we need to map it to a pin we're going to go ahead and do that here now this is the pin that it connects to on the Arduino board. So the door close is going to go ahead and connect with pin 11. And the uh, other door open will connect with pin 12. And 
let's see. One other we needed to. This can just be uh, make sure that capitaliz capitalizations is right. I want to make sure we initialize those as zero. And of course as night. I mean you could initialize as a bool if you want to take up less memory, but well, let's go ahead and do this way for now. So then you kind of just want to look through it quick, make sure everything is on the up and up. So let's see here. Now something looks funny about this here. All right, that makes more sense. Try that there, okay. Yeah, computer programming gets pretty sensitive sometimes, as a lot of things do. So let's just go ahead and verify this, see if it's all good to go. So this is the verify. So it appears we have an error. So what we usually want to do is click through some of these um, brackets here. So that bracket goes to that one, and this one goes up to the void loop. And this one doesn't go anywhere. So either we have too many brackets, or too few brackets. Let's go ahead and delete that one and see if it's too many. And it appears that the sketch is done compiling. So we can just go ahead and upload it then. Now even when you verify it, well if you upload it, it automatically verifies. So we'll go ahead and upload it, see if anything blows up. Uh, you'll hear explosions or raging inferno if that is the case. That appears it's done uploading. So let's just go ahead and test it out on the circuit board here. So we have a bench test version of our linear actuator controller. This LED imitates the sun. This is the potentiometer. It essentially acts as a simulation for the solar panel. And then this is the light, green light to indicate that the door is opening. And this red light to indicate that the door is shutting. So as you can see now, as the sun goes down, the red light turns on to indicate that the door is closing. Now as we give it more sunlight, the green light comes on to indicate that the door is open. And as the sun sets again, red light. And green light. Pretty simple. We just hook this. So these two lights is where the linear actuator will be hooked up when we put it outside. And we'll probably go ahead and solder up this circuit then.